The nullifying effect of the water wears off. Once again, you can cast spells, but are vulnerable to other magic, others' magic as well. Let's read the history book. History of the Sundering. The Vortex. Eons ago, the Vortex was discovered. It was a place outside reality as we know it. In fact, it appeared to be a reality unto itself. To be a reality unto itself. It was a place of great power. Researchers theorized that it might be the actual source of magic. It remains a place of mystery. As much as, as, much as is known about it, much more escapes us. It was the perfect place to actualize the plan. In order to defeat the enemy and create the, wor and create the new worlds that Samal visualized, we had to sunder the world into five realms. Air, fire, stone, water, and the labyrinth. Four to give to the minch. And one, and one to imprison the patrons. Not only would we be removed from the earth while this happened, we would be able to draw upon the, the perfect magic of the vortex to make it happen. We needed an instrument to focus the magic of the vortex, so we created an island of stone that floated us over its very heart. Upon it we inscribed a rune structure unlike any other. Indeed, this was a spell, but not just a spell. It was many spells intertwined into one structure. Every spell has a starting rune. When a wizard traces a spell, the magic flows from the starting rune into the other runes. Upon completion, the spell is defined and it is cast. This rune structure is different. It combines many different possible starting runes. When magic is introduced upon one of these, on one of these runes, the spell is defined and cast. There is a, there's a compelling reason for this. Along with being used to sunder the world, the island was designed to serve additional functions. Shortly after the sundering, the same rune structure created a conduit between the worlds. It is currently used to transport people and cargo from realm to realm. Using the Death Gate, we were able to populate the realms with the mention we had selected. All that was required was a fleet of ships outfitted with steering stones containing the name and rune of the target realms. The Death Gate has a grander purpose, though. When the Minch have settled and we reawaken, the rune structure will be used again to interconnect the worlds. Power and materials will freely flow from, one, from realm to realm depending on need. After this interconnection, various spells can regulate and modify the system. We have included all of these in the rune structure. We have also included a failsafe spell. Should something go drastically wrong with the Sundering, the spell exists to reform the single world from the five realms. We don't anticipate actually using this spell, but it exists just in case. The Island The activation of a spell from the island's rune structure is relatively simple, but the execution of the spell must be exact. The island ha has been keyed to work only in the presence of the world seal, or in the current case, all five of the pieces. The island is home to four spires which encircle the rune structure, one to represent each of the elements. To awaken the island's magic, each seal piece must be placed upon its respective column. The procedure has an interesting side effect. Whenever a, whenever a seal piece is placed upon its counterpart column, it generates an element storm. Everything on the island will be based in that element. Tornado, force winds, a firestorm, an avalanche of rock, or a deluge of water. We couldn't comfortably cast our spells while being attacked by the elements, so we placed the rune structure inside of a warded circle. Everything inside of the circle is completely safe. While safely cons in ensconced within, the ward. Even the storming elements become no more than a spectacle to observe. When all four of the pieces have been placed, the island is primed. It is ready to cast whatever spell the operator wishes. The choice is made using the focus, which resembles a floating hexagonal frame. It must be placed over the desired starting rune, after which the remaining seal piece, that of the nexus, is set inside of the focus. This will ignite and cast the selected spell. The spells. Six men were dedicated to creating and inter inter intermingling the spells carried by the island. They are Sama, Dimitri, Osef, Lonoi, Tyler, and Waylith. Indisputably, six of the greatest contemporary starting magicians. Each was tasked with providing a single spell, and we will discuss each individually. Well, there's Sama in the center. There's Dimitri. There's Orsef. Lenoy, Tylor, and Waylith. Alright. 
This gate is the final portal of the Labyrinth, just beyond is the hell you called home for most of your life. Well, let's go in. <laughs>